Hello again and welcome to another episode of Terraria. So, last episode, I did some thinking, right? We defeated the golem. And that's pretty much end game. Like, that, that's about as end game as it gets. Pretty much everything after that point is farm, get cool stuff, get cooler stuff, and keep farming. Um, and then a little bit of sandboxing. But I'm not really up into that sandboxing scene, so I'm not going to really be doing much of that. But, I did a little bit of a checklist. So we fought the Eye of Cthulhu. We fought, or we fought and destroyed the Eye of Cthulhu. We fought and killed the giant worm that eats the world. We killed Cthulhu's brain. We defeated bumblebees, or a giant queen bee. We've defeated the walls of flesh, Skeletron, and pretty much the robot forms of all of the above. We fought in a giant plant, and we defeated a giant ancient Mayan golem thingy that run, is run by lizard people. But, what we have yet to defeat is the most... How do I say this? Maybe the most mundane of all the bosses, but the rarest of them all. In order to create him, it takes 30 gold bars, 1 ruby, and 100 slime bits. So even crafting his summoning item is an ordeal. I introduce you to King Slime, who is in one of these directions. Right there. Also, note, I have bat wings now. Um, picked them up. I like them. King Slime. He's fairly weak, um, as you can see. He doesn't do much. He is extremely weak for what this is. But, we give him a little bit of a pass on that. So, let's go ahead and kill the King Slime. Every time you hit the King Slime, he gets smaller. And when he gets smaller, he drops more slimes, which then drop slime. I, I know it sounds weird. Um, he drops only 61, or he dropped only like 60 slime that time. But he also dropped a ninja item. Every time you fight the Slime King, pretty much his main item for dropping is the ninja item. Um, so... This is what you kill him for, is to farm off the ninja gear. Um, I said before that I actually got a nice little spawn of him once. I already have the ninja shirt, so I have the ninja shirt and the ninja hood. Um, so let me show you the ninja shit clothes I already have. Without... So ninja clothes, they're black. They look nice, and they go pretty well with my bat wings. So, sorry that this episode's gonna be kind of short. I just wanted to show y'all the me fighting a king slime because it's pretty much the only thing we hadn't done yet. Um. So yeah. Um. If you want, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and make it. See here. Keep those bars. Combine those. Get two rubies. So 30 gold bars and a ruby on an. Make a golden crown. You can make a platinum golden crown with 30 platinum bars. A uh, gold crown comes out. It looks like that. You look cool. Um, rainbow gold crown doesn't look quite as cool. And then you need... I'm going to need some more gel. I'm going to need a lot more gel, actually. So, let's see here. Hundred ninety-eight gel. I said 100 gel, but it's actually only 99 gel apiece. But now, in order to create this, we have to go all the way over to a shadow orb. Um, 
I know I've destroyed a bunch of them, but I did leave a couple of them around, and I know where I left them, so I'm just going to go to those. Also, another thing I'll show you as soon as we're done getting this, or as soon as we fight another slime or two, is um, the frost giant armor. Pick some of that up. Ooh, what was that? Uh, broken hero sword. We'll find out what that does very shortly. See? Apparently, sometimes running around with me like an idiot helps. Actually, I should say y'all are very good luck, because I probably wouldn't have come back this way if I didn't come here for your, this. Okay, so we have two slime crowns. I'm gonna go back up to the top. Actually, we'll just go back to the house. We needed to talk to the guide again. Anyway, crafting. What does this do? Broken sword. Okay, apparently you can create you can mix this with Excalibur to create the true Excalibur with the Knight's Edge to create the true Knight's Edge. True Knight's Edge seems to be better than the true Excalibur. Or the Terra Blade, which is the true Knight's Edge and the true Excalibur. Interesting. Um not going to use that yet. I'm going to figure out how to, or where what that comes from. And then we'll f next time you see me, I might be wearing a true terror blade. Actually, I'll probably have like the true knight's edge. But hey, we can all hope, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and summon another slime. I'm going back to that little platform I made. Um just for simplicity's sake. Um, let's see here. I got a ninja hood from that one. Don't drop another hat. Drop pants. I promise it'll be worth it. I'll stop beating you up if you just drop a pair of pants for me. I did use that, right? Aw, oh, did it just cheat me out of a... boss fight? Give me a second, let me turn up the volume a bit. No, I still have the boss fight music going on. There we go. Also, if you notice, you can see the ninja inside of him. Just a cute little thing I thought y'all might like. And... Ninja shirts. Hoops. Okay. Well... Not gonna bother y'all to just farm the ninja pants. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go again. Um, sorry again about this being a short episode. I just kinda wanted to show off the King Slime because I realized we hadn't fought the King Slime yet. Um, I've been working on farming. Um, I haven't actually gotten any, like, the soul or any more keys. So, that's been a bit of a bummer. But, hey, what can you do? It's only been a couple of hours, and like I said, yesterday I pretty much just spent all day just getting keys. So, have a nice day.